Yes, back to the studio, we're talking about safety, uh, because safety is a broad uh, concept. It can relate to uh, social safety, water safety, workplace safety, and cyber security. And the Port of Rotterdam Authority and its partners, they use a variety of services and projects to make the port as safe as possible for everyone. Combating uh, criminal networks, corruption, and preventing illegal transit of goods and persons are, amongst others, the top priorities. And in today's show, uh, we will talk about risk mitigation, prevention of cyber attacks and best practices for optimizing the security in the supply chain. Because next to safety in the port, safety in the logistic chain has become of vital importance over the past years. So I'm very, very glad to introduce my guests here at the table. First of all, Rob uh, Gutteling. Rob, welcome. You're Head of Vessel Traffic Services and Deputy Harbour Master at the Port of Rotterdam. Yeah, thank you. Next to you, Evelyn Brass, you're the director of FIRM, and uh, Sarah uh, Geerts Lachman, a team leader at the Dutch Customs Administration, located here in the port of Rotterdam. Well, welcome to the Supply Chain Talks. Um, yes, um, Evelyn, let me begin with you, because I can imagine that our viewers, that they have a general understanding what the traffic, uh, the vessel traffic service is doing and the Customs Administration. But what about FIRM? What is your company, uh, what is it about? Well, FIRM, it's a, it's a non-profit organization, a cooperation between public and private organization. And f FIRM, it's, it's not an abbreviation, it's a FIRM. It's uh, standing strong. Yeah, it's and a Dutch word. It's, it's actually a Dutch word. And that's exactly what we aim to do in the area of cyber resilience. We want to be we want to strengthen among ourselves against cyber attacks. Yes, because why is that such an important topic nowadays? Um, well, 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 you can read it in the news. Every newspaper every day is talking about some kind of uh, cyber incidents. Um, every one in five companies will get hit this year. It's not a matter if, but it's a matter when you get to uh, deal with cyber incidents. And their effects can be huge. Did you know that 71% of all uh, command systems have a vulnerability? 71%. 71% still have a vulnerability nowadays. So that's, that's significant. Yes, because what are the, the, the main threats for companies in the port of those that are using the facilities uh, of the port? Well, I would say, in, in my opinion, uh, the number one threat still is ransomware. It's, it's, it's huge. It's a global threat and uh, it threatens your own business continuity. So that's, a, that's a, a, more of a business threat. Uh, the second one, I would say it's impact on the physical infrastructure, on the physical domain. Um, if uh, a, a big company uh, in the harbor gets put out of business, it interacts through uh, way through rails, through fairways. So the impact on the fiscal infrastructure is, is also a big threat. And third, and I would say that's a typical harbor problem, is storage spoofing. Spoofing, fake websites, companies pretending they act in or on behalf of the port of Rotterdam, but in fact are false. And they claim to make deals, but you know, you actually end up Yes. Okay, so, so is, yeah, yeah. So, uh, important threats also to yes. share with our viewers, of course. So, Rob, do, do you recognize those threats that Evelyn is describing? Yeah, absolutely. The Harbour Master's main focus is on nautical safety, which is uh, around uh, all the ships visiting our port. And, of course, uh, it relies thereby on, uh, on uh, huge amounts of data to be exchanged uh, between all the parties which are participating uh, in the process. So, yeah, a disruption would have great input. Yes, because nautical safety, could you elaborate a little bit more? What is nautical well, safety? Yeah, nautical safety is more about safety around the water. Uh, we want to avoid dangerous traffic uh, accidents uh, or other incidents uh, to happen. And ships therefore are assisted by uh, all sorts of nautical service providers. And they are getting informed of all the risks which are surrounding them when they are entering the port. Yes, because the port of Rotterdam, it is a huge, a very large area uh, to control. How can you control such a large area? Well, you cannot not control it as one party. I mean, uh, all the stakeholders involved should have their own responsibility, and they have. I mean, 
terminals, they have their own safety procedures and regulations. Uh, the Port of Rotterdam, uh, as, an, as an organization, uh, uh, services them, uh, all the companies in the, in the port with a an, uh, an safe infrastructure. Uh, and the Harbour Master, for instance, is uh, safeguarding all the ships to uh, make uh, safe operations whilst they're sailing around. Yes, because so, so Evelyn, I think uh, that, uh, Rob and his team uh, are very important stakeholders for, for firm. Yes, they are. And they're, they're more than a stakeholder. Actually, they're one of our founding partners and they are key in the harbor safety. They also have a, a cyber access point, which is 24-7. Um, uh, you can report incidents 24-7 there. So yes, they're very important. Yes, because how does it work in practice then? When, when in, in theory, when the port has an incident on, on cyber um, attack, uh, what will be the procedure done? Can they call you? Are you going to make a solution for them? <laughs> well, um, uh, uh, typically we're more on prevention. So sharing information, we will certainly share it in our trusted community. And if there is a, a knowledgeable partner which has a solution, we will provide and we will assist you in that. Um, we will also uh, provide you with preventive training, with awareness sessions, also uh, in maturing. But we do not have a, a set, a com computer emergency response team with 24-7 uh, on call. So we do not have that. We're more in the prevention loop. But yeah. we certainly will assist any company that uh, that has an incident. Yeah, so it's about prevention, awareness, and also joining the forces. Yes. Yes. Well, another essential link in, in safety and security at the Port of Rotterdam is, of course, the Dutch uh, Customs uh, Administration. Um, well, Sarah, um, safety has become a hot topic uh, at the port recently, but it must have been a top priority for you for, for many years already now, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Um, safety um, has been a hot topic for us since 9-11. Uh, and it is also part of our mission as a Dutch Customs Administration. If you know that about 30% uh, of all goods come through the port of Rotterdam uh, destined for Europe, uh, then we have an important task to be a gatekeeper. Yes, a, a gatekeeper and, and not only uh, at the port, but also for the, the outborder eh, for, for Europe. So what is the customs administration doing to protect um, the outborder and the port of Rotterdam? Well, it is um, uh, impossible for us to check all the goods that, uh, uh, that go through the port. So we work risk-based. Uh, so, um, therefore, we look at different aspects uh, based on uh, security, safety, health, environment, economy, uh, and we also do random checks. And we have an enforcement vision that focuses on the level of compliance of the different companies. And we also look at the certification they have. And those combined, um, we look at the different internal control measures every company takes. And so they have to be proven compliant. And then we can uh, look at the different uh, control mechanisms we use. So uh, our controls are less disruptive or when they have been proven to be compliant. If they are not, we do more physical checks. Yes. You, you also brought a video eh, to demonstrate uh, how you collaborate, but also how you cooperate with the national and international businesses. So I will suggest that we take a look. The Dutch coast forms a European border, and so our procedures involving the traffic of people and goods need to meet European requirements. Our security must satisfy all member states, and so we work closely with all national customs authorities within the European Union in building one single system of enforcement. We believe cooperation and information exchange between national customs agencies can lead to the development of both trusted trade lanes and smart and secure lanes. That's why we provide foreign colleagues with information concerning the reliability of certified logistical partners and the presence of identified high-risk cargoes. We expect the same of them as part of our belief that information concerning inspection and risk control should be shared following pre-agreed criteria. That's why we have intensive cooperation and communication with several countries all over the world. 
International cooperation between customs authorities and civilian partners, as well as investment in intelligent risk management, are vital elements in achieving a responsible balance between expedience and security. They allow us to focus our attention where it's needed most, around high-risk cargoes and around high service levels for our clients. Yes, sir, a nice video. Um, is it safe to say that um, security and safety is more related to goods than uh, to systems and processes? Uh, well, we do think that both are uh, important to us because uh, data flows and exchange of information is crucial for us to build our intelligence. So therefore we cooperate, uh, cooperate with different companies and also with different law enforcement agencies. Yes, because for the, for the port, of course, it's very important to have a surface that's very efficient and also very flawless, uh, as, as flawless as possible. And I can imagine that from your perspective, um, that is not your main objective, or am I wrong? Uh, well, uh, one of our aims is also to improve the competitiveness of the Netherlands and also of the European Union. So we try to do our checks uh, as less disruptive as possible. Um, uh, for example, we have different uh, scan, uh, scan equipment uh, and those are not at the area of the customs administration itself, but they are on the terminals. So we, uh, the flawlessness of the logistical chain is improved. Yes, well, that's also wonderful to hear because I think, uh, Rob, a, a fast and efficient uh, clearance uh, procedure also helps you uh, to ensure the, the safety and also the throughput uh, uh, at vessel traffic services. Yeah, sure. I mean, our organizations are sharing the same, uh, uh, let's say, uh, interest. Uh, interest uh, and we are finding uh, the efficiency in the port process uh, very important. Yes, because have, do you have examples how, how you work together? Yeah, for instance, we work together uh, by approving uh, ISPS certification facilities uh, of uh, ISPS. Yes, and, and, and what do you expect um, for the future if we talk about safety? Well, we see that data flows and, and digital exchange uh, will uh, to support systems uh, are very related and, and they will have increasingly importance. So also for the shipping process in the port. Yes, do you agree, Sarah? Definitely, yeah. Uh, we need more information to build our intelligence, but we're also, um, well, we rely on good information. Yes, so, so relation, data, that is, that is key. And then, Evelyn, we are also uh, in your business. It must sound like music for your ears <laughs> then. Yeah, well, I'm very glad to hear that uh, uh, information security is top priority because it is, and I think that it should be the top priority for the coming years. And, and, and obviously we, we sing the same song in this music. So yes, uh, and it, I think cooperation is also the only way to become the world's safest port. Yes, cooperation is key. Well, let's also see if we have some questions from our viewers. Kuhn. Yeah, we have. I picked one out of the chat. All the others will be answered in the chat itself. Evelyn, uh, is it possible for all companies to join firm? And how can they join? Yes, well, um, Obviously, I'd like as many companies to join firm uh, because the more companies that join, the more power we have uh, and the safer we can be together. However, uh, it's a trusted community and uh, companies can participate based on trust. Uh, and, and basically, if they're related to, to the harbor industrial complex. Yes. So this. And how can they join? Well, if they send a message to contact at fermrotterdam.nl, then we will surely pick up the application. Okay, okay. Well, wonderful. And thank you and you and you, of course, Sarah, for joining us and sharing your information about security and safety uh, in the port. Thank you and good luck with the job.